and I guess she's from the Clarksville area. All right. How in the world are you doing, lady? I'm wonderful. I don't know what to do with myself. Dr. Okay, Jones. I don't either, but I got to find out about your microphone here. All right. Check one. Make it a little closer to your mouth. I am so wonderful. I don't know what to do with myself. All right. You're going to make me laugh tonight? I'm going to do my very best. Y'all ready, ready to laugh tonight? Yeah. You know, they tell me frowns make it. No reason I look so young. There I laugh is. a lot. There I don't do is. no frowning. And you haven't met me yet. No. Oh, you haven't laughed enough. So I'm getting ready for you, huh? There it is. All right. How do you call that? Simona? No, Simone. Just Simone. Simone. Yeah, it like rolls that. off the tongue and drips from the lips. Simone. Simone. <laughs> it drips around the lips. There it is. Like Simone. You got it. Give it up for Simone James, everybody. <laughs> What's cracking, Nashville? Wave your hands in the air. Wave them like you just don't care. If you love the Lord like I do, let me hear you say, oh, yeah. I'm so sorry, I digress. Well, same crowd, just a different place. And nevertheless, y'all check this out, y'all check this out. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. And I was thinking about Jerome, this cat I had met about a month ago. But anyhow, that ain't none of y'all business, that ain't none of y'all business. Y'all listen, I ain't got much time up here, and I wore the wrong panty girdle, so we gotta make this quick. Okay, listen, listen, listen. By a round of applause, how many of y'all out there know some bad kids? All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, how many of y'all are the parents of those bad kids? Uh, you won't want to tell that, well, will you? Let me explain something to you. Kids will take you to a level of craziness that you never knew you had. I have three children. Currently, their ages are 24, 18, and 15. 24, 18, and 15. When they were a lot younger, well, hold up, let me do a crowd check. Any social out here? We got any social workers? Okay, all right, all right, so I'll go ahead and tell the story. If a social worker show up, somebody give me a signal. Check. Just start right where you are. Any social workers in the house? Any social workers in the house? Uh Oh, I just be doggone. Okay, what I'm going to say is, I had heard this story from somebody else. It's not me. But I'm going to say it and relay it like it was me, okay? Because I don't want no foolishness. I ain't got time to be under nobody's investigation. Okay, because you knock on my door, I got something for you. Okay, you won't knock on another door. But anyhow, I'm sorry. This is a church event and everything. Y'all saved and sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost. I'm still trying to get there, okay? Because I'm, I'm hoping they open up that bar in a minute. No, I'm just joking. These are just jokes. These are just jokes, okay? Nevertheless, y'all check this out. Because like I said, I wore the wrong panty girdle, so I got to make this quick. Okay, how about when my kids was a lot younger, they drove me to a level of craziness that I thought I never had. They acted a plum fool one day. They were arguing, fussing and fighting. They weren't doing their chores. And I had, I, I was at, my, at the end of my rope. They had worked my last nerve. So I got, let's say what they call possibly an unction. I, I don't know, or an inspiration. I'll let y'all church folks discern whether or not it was from God. But this is what happened. This is what happened. I, like I said, I had reached my breaking point. So I called them all into the living room. I said, Gregory, Jaslyn, and Brett, y'all come here for a minute. Again, I got three children. I said, y'all come here for a minute. They came in the kitchen. I said, okay, y'all wait right here. I went to my bedroom. Sometimes you got to go in that prayer closet. That prayer closet will bless you if you let it. I went into that prayer closet, and I got three bullets out from my 38. I wrote each one of their names on it and I brought it back out to the kitchen and set it on the table. Baby, when I tell you that was the best visual aid lesson I could have ever taught them jokers that night, honey, the arguing stopped. They cleaned my house like it was on the market for sale and when I went in the room to check on them, they were having Bible study. I said, look what the Lord has done and it's marvelous in my eyes. There it is. It's marvelous. But now again, Miss Social Worker, again, that I said that story as though it was me. But that's what I had heard, okay? That's what I had heard. All right, moving right along. We got any pastors in the house tonight? Any pastors, any pastors, any pastors? All right, we got some pastors. Make some noise, all right? I want to say this. I'm going to say this. I know y'all's job is not easy. I know it's not easy, so I try not to be a burden to the leadership in my church. You know, y'all are busy burying people, you're marrying people, you're visiting the sick, you're getting drunk deacons out of jail. You're just busy. You got things to do. You got things. 
things to do. Okay, having said that, when I was pregnant with my youngest son, it was a complicated pregnancy, and I was in the hospital for a couple of weeks. My pastor came out to see me and everything. First lady came out to see me. My church members came to see me. So my church represented well. I felt good and everything. Everything was going well. Well, they decided to take the baby by C-section. So I called my pastor over the phone, Pastor Burgess. I said, well, pastor, I just called to tell you that they're going to do surgery tomorrow. They're going to take the baby by C-section. So I just called so we could have prayer over the phone. Well, he got righteously indignant. He said, no, no, I don't pray over the phone. I'll be up there to see you. And I'm thinking, well, you already came up here, so it wasn't really necessary. So I was like, okay, not a problem. And he was like, well, baby, what time are they going to do the surgery? I said, at 6 a.m. He said, Father, in the name of Jesus, I lift this child to you. I promise y'all this is a true story. This is a true story. This is a true story. But when I came out of surgery, my pastor was standing right next to my then husband. So y'all give it up for Pastor Burgess. Y'all give it up. Y'all give it up. Okay, he been dead 10 years. Y'all cutting into my time. Okay, nevertheless, we got to move forward. He has. He been dead 10 years. So come on, we got to move on. Ain't nothing else I can do for him. Okay, in a half. Loved him. That was my pastor. God called him home 10 years ago, but the story is still applicable today. Okay, y'all check this out. I know all y'all are familiar with Bishop T.D. Jakes. Y'all know Bishop T.D. Jakes? Okay, y'all, okay. That's, that's, that's my partner. That's my friend. Okay, he ain't never met me. He don't know me, but I feel like we're friends. I do. I feel like we know each other. I have supported his ministry. I have books, tapes, videos, all them other good things. Okay, check this out. Y'all familiar with the Woman's Out Loose Conference? Yeah. Okay, he used to put that conference on every year, every year, every year. Me and my girlfriend went for several years starting with 1999 and every time we would go inevitably I would see something that with my comedic eye it may not have been meant for everybody else but God set up a nice little situation for me to see every year faithfully so having said that let me explain I devised a do's and don't memo when attending the Women's Out Loose Conference and this is applicable for any church conference you may attend okay all right here we go Ladies, 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 when attending a conference, this would not be the time to get your weave done at a beauty college. It won't hold up. It won't hold up under the pressure. It won't hold up. It won't hold up. Now, when attending the conference and you choose to wear a weave, I would suggest and advise that you do solicit one of your girlfriends, one of your sisters, to be a designated weave watcher. Now, I know you're asking yourself, what is a designated weave watcher? Well, let's step back from when we were in the world. When you were in the world and you were going to the club, you knew you would get your drink on, so you had a designated driver, right? Right? Well, there it is. Well, the same concept is applicable in the church. Have a designated weave watcher. This one sister did not get my memo. Now, I'm going to need y'all's help tonight. We got the Pentecostals out here. Any Pentecostals? And I can't walk the stage all night. Now, I told y'all I'm overweight. I'm tired. It's hot. Let's get it going. Let's get it going. Let's get it going. We got some Pentecostals in the house. I'm going to need y'all help tonight. Here we go. Now, we're going to need to get us a shout clap going because this one particular sister did not, did not get my memo in enough time. But I hope this piece of information tonight can bless somebody else since she didn't get it. Here we go. When I think about Jesus and what he's done for me, stop. <laughs> Follow the choir director. It's enough African Americans in here for y'all to clap on beat. It's enough for y'all. It's enough for y'all. It's enough for y'all. Somebody play the drums. Let me get a drummer. Can I get a drummer right quick? Come on, y'all. Come on. Quick, quick, quick. Can I get a drummer? Can I get a drummer? Never mind. We'll move forward. We'll move forward. Govern yourself accordingly. Come on, baby. Move quick. Move quick. Move quick. Come on. Come on. I can't walk the stage all night. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Cutting it to my time. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh, girl. <laughs> nice standing for you. Look at that. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'd like your hair better. <laughs> sure. Thank you. So much. So much. Thank you. Oh, that was fun. Thank you. 
Well, we'll see you there, Miss James. Yes, How long have you been doing comedy? I've been doing comedy for a little 10 years, but hold on, wait a minute, I gotta catch my breath. Okay. Y'all thought I was playing with that on full figure. Okay. I'm out of breath. But yeah, a little over, there it is, there it is. <laughs> but right. a little over 10 years. Over 10 years? Yes, sir. Do you live in Clarksville, Tennessee? I do live in Clarksville, Tennessee. You have a website? I do. Well, I'm sorry, my email address is funny lady, spelled correctly, the number 3434 at AOL.com. Again, funny lady, 34 at AOL.com. All right, funny lady. So those of you at home who want a funny lady, go to funny lady. 3434.com. Uh, oh, back up, Dr. Uh -oh, Jones. You done up. messed up. Okay. <laughs> okay, funny lady. Say one more time, but funny me. lady, uh -huh. funny lady, 34 at AOL.com. Again, funny lady, 34 at AOL.com. Funny lady, again, 34, 34. I see every time you say it, you mess it up, Dr. Jones. Get it together. I am Get it together. <laughs> But that was some act there you did. When you hit that floor, I went, oh, Lord, I, I ain't got no insurance I was just going to say, you think it's going to be a lawsuit? <laughs> I wouldn't oh, do that. I am great. so honored to be here.